What's happening guys? We're back and we're continuing on the front suspension today. Alright guys, now that we got all the, uh, the main tabs built and tacked onto the suspension, I want to take and box these in to give them a bit of, you know, rigidity left and right before we fully weld those tabs on. Um, that'll keep it from kind of warping as we weld them because a lot of those tabs are only going to be able to weld on one side. So I'll kind of have the tendency to pull them. So I came out here yesterday and built one of the plates that's going to go on there and box in those tabs. Um, so today I want to build the other three that are going to go on the top of the, uh, the upper brackets, uh, get them tacked on and then we can fully weld the upper brackets. Um, and if we have time, we might get started on the lower boxes for them. Uh, I'm going to be using 16 gauge steel for this. Uh, it's quite a bit thinner than the like, whatever that is, eighth of an inch that we used for the tabs. Uh, we don't need near as much structure on these. And because I'm using 16th, I can go in and put some cool little dimple dies in it, make it look a little pretty. So I built one already. So now we need to template this guy and make another one for the other side. And then we need to template a set for the back. So that's the goal today. Um, also on special request from Scott, we're gonna do no music in this episode. Uh, he had some complaints about my music, so we're just not gonna do any. And if you guys like it, that's how we'll do them going forward. And if you don't, let me know. So let's uh, grab some more steel and Trace this guy out and make a second one. Look at that. I got a drill press chuck now. Alright, so we got the two holes drilled in this piece. Uh, next step is to dimple them. So I got little uh, dimpling dies. They just kind of go on like that and then you press them together. Um, I have done it in the vise before and it would probably work fine for this uh, 16 gauge steel. But the right way to do it is with a press. So I've uh, borrowed my dad's press and uh, we'll use that and it'll be way easier. All right, we got both of those tacked on. Uh, just four little tacks actually makes those front tabs quite a bit more rigid. So now we're gonna move on to the rear ones. Uh, I don't have one already made. So we're starting from scratch with a little cardboard aided design. Uh, we'll just trace it out and then transfer it to steel. There's our two blanks. We had to do uh, a little bit of fine tuning with the file, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, because they're so much shorter, we're only gonna have room for one, one dimple in it. So let's go drill that and then uh, we can tack them on.
All right, those look pretty good. Uh, we got both the rear tabs made and tacked on there. Uh, we did the front tabs, those are tacked on. And I'm gonna call it an episode there, guys. Uh, probably in between episodes here, I'll build the bottom ones. They're just squares with a couple holes in them. And then uh, once those are welded on, we can then come through here and fully weld the main tabs. And then we're gonna have to flip the chassis over to do a bunch of the welding kind of on the bottom sides of these braces. So we'll do that. But that's what we're gonna call an episode, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the no music format. Uh, let me know, tell me what you guys want. I'm not a filmmaker, so this is all new to me. Uh, so I'm, I'm here to take your guys' suggestions. But in the meantime, hit the like and subscribe button. Go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media, and we'll see you guys next week. I'm out of here.